Hi everyone and welcome to my place. Today I'm here to answer a request from somebody in the UK. You didn't tell me where you're from, but you said that you have beautiful roses in the garden and you wanted to do something that was formal and elegant, but not prissy and not something you would see in a church and not something that looked like a sail, a sail um, on a yacht. Now when I talk about a sail on a yacht, I mean that type of triangular arrangement and you just wanted to put it in the hallway so that people coming in and out would see this lovely sort of formal yet informal elegant deconstructed I just picked pick the roses and would you put them into a vase or would it be best to put them into a urn? To be perfectly honest I actually like to use an urn and this to me state is telling me it's like stately elegant just by the shape and I, if you could look into here it's got a little cracked because I've had it for 101 years and all of the outside edges here all the um, porcelain or, or the glazing has all started to crack gorgeous 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 now the other thing you said was that you were using sort of creamy white roses and that you were stuck with what kind of a container and if you were using something that was ceramic what would you use well, the best way forward is, when in doubt, stick with monochromatics. So these are shades, tones and tints of one colour harmony. So we've got the creamy roses here, I've got the creamy container, I've whacked in a bit of wet foam because as I've said lots of times I prefer it because it's quite firm and it gives a bit of weight and stability. Right. I've picked, these are not picked roses, these roses are artificial roses that I've had for a long, long time, but the great thing about these is they are different sizes. So, to begin, just go into the middle. You want it to look like you've just been out to the garden and picked them. You'll find bits of roses that are sort of like going all over the place. Don't worry about that, just shove that into there. So I've got one in the middle, one to the left. Right, make sure that they're sort of kind of about the same size. So I've got that there, because roses all come at different sizes, don't they? Sometimes you'll get a big long, long stem and other times you'll get something that's really short. So, you know, just work within the balance of what you've got. So you've got one there, you've got one there. So let's stick one down into there and just push that out. Let it fall whichever way it chooses to fall. Have I got another one of those? Yes I have. So I'm going to put that into there. So it's still like the fundamentals, what you do in the middle, except this time I started in the centre of my design. So one into the middle and then I've got one to the front, one to the back, one to the left, one to the right or whichever way you're looking at me from. Right, what else? Ah, here's another one. So how many of these have I got? About now I need to actually stop and take stock and have a look and make sure that I've got enough because there's no use me going any further if I don't. Right, now that's a big tall one and I don't really want that that length. So cut that off there and I'm going to put this out to this side, then take this one and bring that over to that side there. Ugh, push that down into there. You can be rough when they're artificial like this. Okay, what else? We got? Ah, here's another one. Let's put that into there because I've put, so I've gone there to there. I've got one to go there, and then I've got this here. So why don't I just take that in and put that into there like so? Right, I've got another big tall one. So let's just put that into the middle and push that down into there. So you said that you wanted this to not look like it was designed in any way. So now it's just a matter of, with your roses, just going from left to right and then just inserting these as you go. Right, I've got two big ones, so I'm just going to bring that around and put that into there. So make sure that the big ones go at the base. And then I've got this one here, so I'll just cut that bit off there and I'll put a shorter one over this side like this. Right, let me just turn this around so that you can have a look at it like that. So I've got a big one there and a big one down the base. I've got a couple of little leaves, so I'll put a leaf into there. Let's not waste that leaf, so we'll put that one into there. And what else? For, ah, I've got this lovely foliage here, so I'm just going to put that into the centre, like that, just to fill it up a bit. And then I've got this here that's got the little rose hips on it. So we might as well just get, whoop, get that and put that into there and take that right down into the design because they all live together from the same family. So there you go, a nice informal 
but elegant arrangement of fresh roses to put at your entranceway. I hope you've enjoyed this and I've helped you that are just getting into the art of floral design. See you again another day. Thank you.